American 65, Kane Calvin, wait, four left short, line up and wait. American 65, four left short, line up and wait. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Prestwick Airport in Scotland. We are here about, about, about aboard our Scottish aviation twin pioneer. It was produced here at Prestwick Airport by Scottish Aviation Limited. It's a British Stoll Transport aircraft. It was produced in the 1950s. Is that not the weirdest looking aircraft? Very rugged looking. Very rugged looking. Let's see if it opens up at all. I can't imagine what in the world would open, but main exit opening. Main exit open. What is open? Nothing. You are not allowed in or out of the airplane at all. Huh. Yeah, well. Well, there you go. Interesting. Uh, I bet you she has flaps. Let's see. That's one click. There's two. Wow, three. Okay, she's got three notches of flap. Oh, she has... Oh, wow. She has a lot of flap. She's a very flappy aircraft. I bet you we can get away with a notch. What do you think? I think so. This, by the way, I have moved my seat all the way back. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I could probably move my camera back. I just can't remember how to do that. I've sub I've used the minus button to move everything back. I just can't remember. And I can't be bothered to figure it out because, well, when's the last time I ever looked at my gauges while flying an airplane? Let's, uh, before we take off, let's see. Uh, shift one opens up a HUD. Well, that's, that's cool. Two, autopilot. Three, GPS. That's it. Cool. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's take off. We got two Alvis Leonidas 531 radial engines. They are 640 horsepower engines. Can't imagine this aircraft has much of a run up. No, not really. <laughs> Oh, uh, my goodness. All right. Conceived as a twin-engine version of the Pioneer Light Transport, both, air, both the Pioneer and the Twin Pioneer required an area of only 30 meters by 275 meters, that is 99 feet by 902 feet, in which to operate. We're designed to truly be Stoli aircraft. Stoli. <laughs> Stoll aircraft. Uh, the Twin Pioneer is a high wing cabin monoplane. It has the triple fin and rudder assembly and a fixed tailwheel undercarriage. It just has a fixed, fixed undercarriage, period. I mean, just fixed. Uh, the prototype Twin Pioneer, which was registered as Golf Alpha November Tango Papa, or Gant P, first flew at Prestwick Airport 25 June 1955. Now, the military version had stub wings on her. Okay, somewhere under here. There they are. Some stub wings in which there was actually, believe it or not, a place where you could attach bombs. It never, I couldn't find out how, many, how much. I just, they just said, oh yeah, you could attach bombs. And I was like, why would you attach bombs to this aircraft? But you could. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> one aircraft became the first aircraft for the newly formed Royal Malaysian Air Force when it was delivered 16 January 1962. The type served with the Royal Malaysian Air Force for about 12 years. The Royal Air Force, the UK variety, ordered 39 aircraft. They were built between 58 and 59. One year, 12 aircraft. Holy cow. It's that, that's actually a, a pretty amazing statistic when you think about it. Deployed in the Aden and Far East, it was used extensively by British forces in the Mal Malayan Emergency and the later confrontation in Borneo. I presume those of you in the UK know what the Malayan Emergency is, because I think we call it something different in the United States, but I don't know. The Twin Pioneer was employed to move troops and supplies around wilderness and on occasions lent support to the Sultan of Oman. That was a really random factoid that I found on Wikipedia, and I was like, can you tell me why? But I couldn't find out why. I went searching everywhere. It was insane. Uh, RAF Squadron Number 230 was the last military operator, uh, last UK military operator of the Twin Pioneer, or Twin Pin, as it is called. 
Now, although mainly used in military operations, it was successful as a commercial transport because it go into places without proper airfields. So, survey aircraft, oil exploration, um, sur government survey, or just survey period. So, it's very much a stole aircraft, much in the same vein as, say, uh, the de Havilland Buffalo or similar aircraft. We're going to just land in the taxiway because I don't care. She could carry up to 13 troops or 2,000 pounds. That's 907 kilograms of cargoes. Maximum speed, 143 knots. That is 165 miles an hour or 266 kilometers an hour. She could fly 695 nautical miles on a full belly of fuel. I think we landed. Yes, we did. Uh, that is 791 miles or 1,287 kilometers. Let's tip her back onto her tail. Oh, we are on her tail. Oh, no, we're not. Yes, we are. Brakes! Uh, it, it's an interesting looking plane. Especially when you think about the time period in which this aircraft would have been produced. So today, or well at least uh, recently, only one aircraft remains fl in flying condition in the UK. Uh, it's operated by Air Atlantique, or was at the time being operated by Air Atlantique when this particular uh, piece was written so you might be able to even fly on one which is amazing she could also carry um, six stretchers for medical evacuation or five and five sitting casualties if necessary all right the link is in the description as always this is the Scottish Aviation Twin Pin or Twin Pioneer I've been Daretubbers this is a really nice model I think it's a good one to stick in your uh, hangar just figure out how to move your, I mean, move your seat back, your physical presence back. But look at the quality. I'm sorry, I have to, I have to stop here. Look at the, the level of quality we're talking about here. We're talking about, you can read the manufacturing information. You can read the manufacturing information of this aircraft. The link is to a gentleman who does a bunch of these aircraft. It does say right up front, this is Steam only. I do not have a Steam version of FSX, and it has worked so far for me. Should work for you, but I can't guarantee it if you don't have the Steam version. Nonetheless, link is in the description. This is Scottish Aviation Twin Pioneer. I'm Dare Chabbers. This has been your Flight Simulator X Plane Spotlight. Until next time, happy flying, everybody. And I need to figure out how to say that in Scottish. Uh, good evening, ATL 101 Heavy. ATL 101 Heavy, good afternoon. We're 0908 right, to land. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant